Good afternoon, everyone. And may I take this opportunity to extend a very warm welcome to Clevedon Hall on this very special day for Jamie and Lauren. We've had some challenging times, but I feel we have, we have taught each other so much along the way. No relationship is easy, and there will be, always be challenging, challenges waiting for us. But I can honestly say with confidence, as long as we always face them together, we can do anything. You are my rock. I love you with all my heart. Now, can I ask you all to stand and raise a glass to my wife and the new Mrs. Lauren England. Ladies and gentlemen, Lauren and Jamie, having each other happiness, fulfillment and love. And as a consequence, they now wish to affirm their relationship by offering to each other the security which comes from legally binding vows, sincerely made and faithfully kept. Jay's literally the nicest bloke we know, and any girl that marries him is the luckiest girl in the world. We've been planning this wedding for over two years now. Well, I say we. Yeah, I was I mean, say. <laughs> I mean, my, my contribution is the pictures on the table, but I, I've, I've literally done nothing else. <laughs> nothing, all right, all right, mate. I've already said it, you don't have to back it up. One of the best things about being a man is that I don't have to do anything when it comes to me wedding. <laughs> Lauren has always has, has worked so hard and put so much effort into organising today. She has organised and arranged things that I would never even consider. She has gone into so much detail and I really have has really thought about everything. You've done an amazing job, babe. Thank you for making the day so perfect. He never leaves the seat up or wet towels upon the floor. The toothpaste has the lid on and he always shuts the door. She's very clean and tidy, though she may sometimes delude. Leave your things out at your peril, in a second they'll have moved. He's a very active person, as are all his next of kin. Whereas she likes lazy days, he'll still try to drag her to the gym. He romances her and dines her, home-cooked dinners and the like. He even knows her favourite food and spoils her day and night. She's thoughtful when he looks at her, a smile upon his face. Will he look that good in 50 years when his dentures aren't in place? He says he loves her figure and her mental prowess too, but when gravity takes over, will she charm with her IQ? She says she loves his kindness and his patience is a must, and of course she thinks he's handsome, which in her eyes is a plus. They're both not wholly perfect, but who are we to judge? He can be pig-headed, whereas she won't even budge. All that said and done, they love the time they spend together. And I hope, as I'm sure you do, that this fine day will last forever. He'll be more than just her husband. He'll also be her friend. And she'll be more than just his wife. She'll be his soulmate till the end. I call upon these persons here present I call upon these persons here present to witness to witness that I Jamie Paul England that I Jamie Paul England do take thee do take thee Lauren Manning Lauren Manning to be my lawful wedded wife to be my lawful wedded wife to love to love respect and cherish respect and cherish as long as we both shall live as long as we both shall live I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness. To witness. That I, Lauren Manning. That I, Lauren Manning. Do take thee. Do you take thee. Jamie Paul England. Jamie Paul England. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. To love. To love. Respect and cherish. Respect and cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live.
a personal penguin. I like you a lot, you're funny and kind, so let me explain what I have in mind. I want to be your personal penguin. I want to walk right by your side. I want to be your personal penguin. I want to travel with you far and wide. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please stand for the arrival of the bridal party? I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token. As a token. Of my love and affection. Of my love and affection. Please wear it. Please wear it. With a feeling of warmth and pride. Feeling of warmth and pride. I will love you. I will love you. I'll remain faithful to you. Remain faithful to you. Now and always. Now and always. Is this a Cinderella bit? Is it going to fit? Yeah, we're good. Um, if you'd like to give. Lauren, if you take Jamie's ring and place it on his ring finger and hold it there whilst you say your name. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token. As a token. Of my love and affection. Of my love and affection. Please wear it. Please wear it. With a feeling of warmth and pride. With a feeling of warmth and pride. I will love you. I will love you. And remain faithful to you. And remain faithful to you. Now and always. Now and always. That's it. Push that one off my head. Thanks, Buster. Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> There's one little story. Um, when they were uh, 19, 18, 19, 20, uh, Leanne, Becky, they used to come to our house. They were friends, they were mates. Get ready at our house. Dad, can you drop us in town? Yes, Lauren. Uh, honestly, we, I said, what time are you going? Uh, oh, honestly, we'll all be ready by 10. Two bottles of Prosecco later. After 10, I want to go to bed. Because in my day, you had to get a girl alone by 11, not out by 11. <laughs> Lauren, I love you very much. I'm so happy that I can now call you my wife. Words can't describe how beautiful you look today. I'm so happy that you chose me and that I get to spend the rest of my life with you. Jamie and Lauren, you have both now made the declarations required by law and have made promises to one another in the presence of your witnesses, family and friends. This day will form a milestone in your lives as you look back on it with happiness. It's the start of your new married life together. May you treasure this trust and responsibility and may you live full and very happy lives together. And it now gives me very great pleasure to announce that you are husband and wife and you can share your first married kids. <laughs> this one particular night, Leanne always used to come and sleep. Um, everything's fine. Oh, she used to lose her driving license and her bank card. And Sunday, uh, I'd be travelling around all around the, the taxi. What taxis did you get? And I can't remember. I can't remember. Got no bank cards, got no driving license. Anyway, this one particular night, I got out of bed and, you know, use, use the bathroom. And I opened the door. 
and the, the bathroom doors open and Lauren sat on the toilet yeah. with her underwear with six inch heels on, her underwear down by her ankles and her head in her hands and Leanne is in the bedroom with the door open snoring her head off. <laughs> Lucky for me, I got a downstairs toilet. <laughs> Lauren says to me the next day, I point this out to her, of course she first denied it and then she knew there was something. Why didn't you wake me up? I said, well, I was going to, but I couldn't find my camera. <laughs> Who would have known from the night they met that we'd all be here today? But it turns out, all it took for Jamie to seduce Lauren was a cheeky Instagram message and a slice of cheesecake. <laughs> Who knew it'd be that easy, boys? <laughs> I just want to wish Lauren and, and Jamie all the best for the future. Um, he's took on some up, believe me. Um, <laughs> but I, I do think he knows that, so he likes a challenge. He likes a challenge and fair play to him. Before your bride and groom lead you on to your further celebrations, and I think some, some people might have had some already, <laughs> I'm sure you'd all like to join with Julia and me in wishing Jamie and Lauren every future happiness because it now gives me very great pleasure to present to you the brand new Mr. and Mrs. England.